Hey guys, Pastor Chris here. I'm going to sing you a little song. How about that? It goes something like this. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong. They are weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I believe that the Bible tells me that, but I don't know about you, but there's times when when I don't have trouble telling other people that Jesus loves them, but I've got to be honest with you, there's times when, when I struggle with that because I wonder, you know, why would Jesus love somebody as bad as me? Why would someone who knows all the things that I've done, all the sins that I've committed, how is it that he could love me? How is it that Jesus could love someone as insignificant as me? I mean, there are over six billion people in this world, and, and it's just me. But yet what we find in the scripture is that, that Jesus, from the very beginning, has, has shown us an unfailing love. He has told us in the Bible, yes, we know that He loves us because the Bible tells us so, but there's so many stories throughout the Bible. And not only do we find out that Jesus loves us, but we, we're, we learned that He loved us before we did anything to deserve His love. In fact, He loved us, the Bible said, while we were yet sinners. I think one of the things that we get confused about is that we feel like we have to earn Jesus' love. And maybe it's because you had uh, teachers in the past or maybe parents or grandparents in the past that made you feel like you had to earn their love. And if that was your experience, I'm so sorry. But, but sometimes we, we place that same type of ideal upon Jesus. But Jesus says, no, there's nothing that you did to earn my love. In fact, I loved you first, the Bible tells us. We, we see that in 1 John chapter 4 that he said, I, I loved you before you knew me. In fact, we see that Jesus loved us and He created us and He made us fearfully and wonderfully even in our mother's womb before we ever had a chance to know Him. And not only that, but we see that it says love, the Bible says, that covers our sins. It says that love covers a multitude of sin. I'm so thankful for that because I mean, you might be like me and we have a multitude of sin that needs to be covered. And so one of the things I want you to think about this week is that, that what are ways that you can show the love of Jesus? Are there people in your life that think that, that nobody could love someone as bad as me? Are there people that you know that think nobody could love someone as insignificant as me? If that's the case, I want you to make sure that they do know that they are cared about. To know that they are loved by you. You might have to reach out with love in their life, but then to let them know that they are loved by Jesus. And one of the other things that all of us need to understand on a daily basis is that you can't do anything to make Jesus love you any more than he does now or to love you any less. Because he doesn't just love, but that's who he is. Jesus is love. And I'm Chris Clonson. I'm so glad that Jesus loves me and that Jesus loves you.